Do you want me to look at the camera? All right. Hello, I'm Tal Hakaya, and I'm an artist. I'm a game developer from Turkey. I made over a hundred games and most of those games already became among great indie classics. My games always push the boundaries of what people think of games. This is not a game is a comment that I get a lot, actually. This is not a game, you just walk around. This is not a game, it's just a Flappy Bird clone. This is not a game, you just pooped on the table. Why did you poop on the table? <laughs> this kind of feedback is actually reaffirming, you know. It means that I'm doing something right. It means that I'm getting somewhere. My games are a way for me to express myself. I'm a great artist. I'm better than any game developer I know, by far. Some developers are like, hey, let's express emotions and situations through game mechanics. <laughs> I don't do that. Yeah, sometimes I go to game jams. Game jams are events that you go to and make random games with other people. It's about collaborating, meeting new people, helping each other out. I don't do that. I just go there and make a game on my own in isolation. Going to a game jam is a way for me to show that I'm better than all those people, you know? I want people to look at me and say, wow, that guy is incredible. I can really learn from that guy. I don't teach them though. I don't have time for teaching, and no one really asked me to anyway. Okay, last year I'm at a game jam. I'm trying to find a game idea to show that I'm better than other people. I cannot seem to find the right idea, you know, I cannot seem to put my finger on it. So I spent a few days trying to come up with the best idea, but I just cannot find it. I cannot reach it. It's just there, but I cannot get it, you know? Now it's the last day of the jam. Everybody is showing their games to each other and having fun, you know? I just still couldn't start on an idea, and I don't have a game yet. And I look at all these people and their mediocre average games. Suddenly, I get an idea. Just like that. A moment of inspiration was all I needed. I'm standing next to a table and I yell, Hey everyone, look at me! I get on the table, I put my pants down and I poop on the table. And I say, this is my game and it's called Shit on the Table. I felt like at that moment I became a better person. You know, I became a better game developer. People are horrified, they are walking away in terror, one girl is screaming. Comments that you get about your game, they can be very harsh, they can hurt you. That's what happened to me with shit on a table. As a creator, you tend to see your creation as an expression. But other people, they look at your game and they talk about the graphics and the lack of interaction and the smell, you know. And I thought, for this time, for real, I have a connection with the player, a meaningful relationship with other people through this game. But instead, they just looked at the game and saw on the table and that hurts that really hurts it's just a prototype it's not the full version all of the negative feedback I got for the game they're gonna be fixed in the full version somehow 
But they just don't get it, you know? That's the price of being a game developer these days, I guess. Art is a process in which you, as the artist, suffer to give birth to something beautiful and meaningful. The result of this process is that people have something to appreciate and they love you for it and you become a better artist. In this context, Shit on a Table is the best game I've ever made. And I say that as someone who's made a lot of amazing games. In all my other games, I couldn't get to the real essence of expression, pure and natural. I finally did it with Shit on a Table. My whole personality can be summed up with this game. Shit on a Table is me. I am Shit on a Table. And if you don't like Shit on a Table, then you don't like me, okay? As simple as that. Nowadays, I don't get out too much. I just stay at home working on the full version of Shit on a Table. It's been a year of hard work, but it's going real well. I'm gonna put the game on consoles, put it on Steam, on mobile. I'll even make a VR version. Sometimes I see people on the internet talking about me. Hey, is that guy who shat on a table? Haha, <laughs> what a loser. What? Some people see me as some kind of a joke. My whole career, everything I've worked for, is on the line with this game. The development process is terrifying. This is my biggest project to date. But I'm confident, with a little bit of luck, this game should be a huge hit. When I release the game, I want everybody to talk about shit on the table. This is my chance to make my dreams reality. It's so cold at night, mama There's shit on the table, mama I wanna be a big guy And shit all over the world Shit all over the world Shit all over the world Shit all over the world